Good morning, guys. Bob from Gills Gills. Hope you're all doing well on this semi-beautiful Sunday morning. I, I think I've got the dumpster diving bug, um, but I've got to do a couple of things to prep for, you know, I've got a trailer, but I want to put some walls on the side so I can actually get a decent amount of stuff. I just got rid of the old RAV that had the trailer hitch, so I got to get a trailer hitch set up for the RAV that we have now so I can tow the trailer and we can get the scrap. <laughs> I got to take my son out. <laughs> my son is 15. He's going to be 16. He's going through driver's ed right now. We're going to, we're going to, I'm going to let him drive my car in, in a, um, it's on, you know, on private property and all that fun stuff. Any, any parent that's, you know, had a kid, you know, turn 16 or, or go to get their license is, there's a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of pause, you know, and, and a little bit of, my God, my kid's growing up. <laughs> and, um, yeah, all that's going on at once with me. So I got an update from YouTube and, um, uh, well, they didn't update me. They, they had a generalized update on my monetization page, which I still don't have. And they said uh, they're still working on it. They're backlogged and uh, everybody should be taken care of now by the end of June. And um, wow, <laughs> it's really not about monetization for me. As you can tell, I'm still pumping out videos. I'm still, I'm still passionate about reaching out to you guys and being a part of the YouTube community regardless. Uh, but it is kind of nice to have that little bit of extra cash, you know. Um, I am missing it. Hey guys, me and my son are going to Walmart. We're gonna pick up a few things. And then after that, I think we're gonna explore a few dumpsters and see what we can find in terms of scrapping. So, stay tuned. got what we needed at Walmart. I figured while we were here, we'd see if they have any dumpsters worth checking out. Because, you know, they must have them. Alright, check this out. Man, that's a tall dumpster. I'm going to take a peeky, see what I can see. See, that's the issue that I have right now. See this right here? Yeah. I'd, I'd love to take it, but I, I don't have room for it in the rat. All that stuff I wouldn't mind taking too, but if I hop into this thing, I'm not going to be able to get out. Nope. There needs to be an adequate exit point. Let's check another one. Scrap vultures definitely get a point in terms of his scooter being a little more efficient. Yeah, there's nothing in here. We've been to Walmart so far. Uh, we've been to a few other small places. We went to an auto mechanic shop. Uh, the the one the. The dumpster at Walmart actually had some metal in it that I could have taken, but it was mostly empty. Um, I've never dumped, jumped into a dumpster before, um, and it didn't look like once I got in there, I could get out. So um, I decided not to, to take the chance. Uh, we're gonna check Home Depot next, and um, we just checked Goodwill, and there's nothing really there right now, but we're gonna check Home Depot, and then we're gonna check the thrift store. like there's a lot of cardboard in there but let's take a look Ooh. some aluminum there I don't know if I can reach it you grab that other piece don't drop it. 
<laughs> well, some, there's some other metals in there too, but I'm afraid to dive in. <laughs> I suppose it defeats the purpose of don't really dive in if you don't dive. Look, there's wire in it. Yeah, throw it in. That's some more. Still recording? Yeah. It's got that computer too. From someone that still works. It's pretty old. I'm gonna check and see if we can sell it on eBay. Um, nobody's interested in it. There's a whole lot of aluminum in that. And other precious metals. Is this copper? Yes. Yep, take it. Copper? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's good copper wire, man. That's number number one. See if we see anything. Now, if there was a construction crew here, I mean, it's Sunday, there's nobody here. But if there was a construction crew here, I'd ask them if I could dive in there and take a look. But I, we took a couple of wires that we saw off the top. Didn't see much else. There's a lot of cardboard on the top. But with nobody here, it's kind of sketchy, you know. I'd love to just get somebody's permission before I just dive right into a dumpster and, and do it. And that way, if the cops show up or whatever, at least somebody said it was okay, you know? Anything? Just cardboard and bags. Hard cardboard bags and both of them? Yeah. All right. We'll move on to the other one. Next one. Some days you get some, some days you don't. Want to take a peek in that one, Austin? Yeah. More metal? No. Okay. Check those. This one? No, I just tried. Is it empty? Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna get in there? Just trash. If you see games or anything like that, let me know. Alright. Huh? Alright. I'm serious. Games. You get it recording still? Hi. There's a thing that plugs in that has uh up in. You said there's a thing that plugs in? Yeah. Well, let's grab it. That's copper wire, bud. Good find. You see anything else in here? No. I don't see anything, so. so. Good find, buddy. I'm gonna tell you, leave everything the way you find it, okay? 
It's just, you know, we're dumpster diving, but we want to be respectful about it. Good boy. No, check it just in case, Austin. All right. No, just cardboard. Oh. And just trap. Could be any kind of metal, Austin. Right? Just copper. Or training right <laughs> yeah. all right well so far we haven't really gotten much but we did get some things uh, we're gonna try the thrift store next and see if they have anything and then after that I think we're gonna call it for now at some point we'll have to do a dedicated um, scrap run and um, see what we can find we'll see when Bangor has their trash days and whatnot and we'll just go around town and see what we can find so we're at the thrift store and um, here's here's the issue I have with um, grabbing metals see that over there that's all that's all metal and it's all kind of piled in one spot on pallets as if someone's gonna pick it up so this particular thrift place might they might recycle all this stuff themselves. So I don't I don't feel comfortable taking any stuff from here. Or at least without permission or without anybody here to ask. I'm not even gonna get out of the car. Oh my god. Oh. Don't do anything yet, okay? Adjust your cockpit. Isn't that what they told you? Yeah. All right. So what do you do? So you adjusted your seat. Yeah. Can you reach the pedal okay? Yeah. Both pedals? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So normally I'd have you adjust your mirrors and all that good stuff. But since we're just kind of going around in a circle, I'm not going to have you do that. Now, that brake is your friend, okay? Can you step on that brake? Okay, good, good. So I want you to put your foot on the brake and keep it there. And then I want you to take it out of park and put it into drive. Yeah. Hmm? Neutral or? No, drive. Oh. D. Yep, it's in drive. Put it in drive. So I want you to realize that brake right there yeah. is your friend. Yeah. So when you release the brake, all right, we're gonna roll. We're gonna have a little bit of momentum without you even touching the gas, okay? Yeah. So go ahead and release the brake and just move forward a little bit. Shut the engine off. There. Okay. How do you feel? Good. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, Are you? Were you nervous? Yeah, because you can't really. On the first time, you can't hit the gas. Well, this is this is why we're doing it. I want you to get a feel for a vehicle. 
you know, if you've never driven before, you know, if you've only, you know, ridden a four wheeler or whatnot, this, this is a completely different animal, especially when you're out and about on the road. So today we were getting a feel for the gas, the steering wheel, the brake, anything else? Control. Yeah, in control, exactly. You were feathering the gas and the brake and you were maintaining a good speed. You respected the car, so I appreciate that. You respected that daddy is a bundle of nerves. <laughs> I think it was a good day all the way around. What do you think? Yeah. All right, cool. I hope you've enjoyed my content. If you have, great. Let me divert your attention over to this big red subscribe button on the side here. Already a subscriber? That's awesome, and I greatly appreciate it. Please feel free to click on that little bell to get notifications when I create a new video.